Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Sam here at the Virginia Museum of History and Culture. Today, we're gonna to talk about games of the past. And today our focus is on this guy right here, which is called a whirly gig, also known as a buzzsaw. We'll talk about why in a second. Now, the whirly gig is one of the oldest and most widely used toys uh, in history. It's been found in almost every culture. And so historians are actually not even sure where it originated from or when, which is even more perfect for you doing it at home because no matter who you are, where you come from, this is a game that is designed for you. Now, it's a very, very simple game. So all you need is some string and something heavy to go in the middle that you put some holes in and put the string through. And it's gonna use tension. So to create the tension, you need to wind up your whirly gig. Wind, 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 wind. Keep going, make sure not to hit yourself in the face. Twirl, 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 and pull on the string. And now the wooden thing in the middle, the heavy thing, is playing off the tension of the string. And you can see how it winds and twirls. And it's called a buzzsaw because you can actually hear a buzzing noise that the string is making because it's winding back and forth so much. So this is a very, very simple game, and it gets you a good arm workout while you're at it too. So how do you make one of these at home? Well, follow me over here. It's very, very simple. You only need two things. You're gonna need some string and you're gonna need something to go in the middle. Now, the best things to use to go in the middle of your whirly gig is gonna be something heavy. So you see here, we're using cardboard. You might need to put some more pieces of cardboard together. Uh, ideally, maybe use a piece of wood like this one is using. Or if you don't have wood, you could use buttons. Buttons are great because they have pre-made holes right in the middle. So the yeah, most important thing to uh, keep in mind though is to get something that is heavy. So if you're using buttons, make sure to get a big button like you would use on a coat or something like that. So to put your whirly gig together, all you have to do is have your item in the middle, have two holes in the middle there, and you loop your string through, and then you tie it together on the other end. So now when you grab both ends of the string, your whirly gig is right in the middle and you're ready to go. Well, I hope you have fun playing this game at home, kids. Have a great day.